Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn, as well as learn about the features and other configurations along the way. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 Ram 1500 is all new and redesigned, but hasn't abandoned its successes, namely a unique coil spring rear suspension that delivers a smooth ride without sacrificing towing or hauling capability. Perhaps the Ram's 1500's greatest feat is serving as a blank canvas to build your truck needs around. From work truck to luxury truck, the Ram 1500 offers a broad skill set. For 2019, the Ram 1500 has shed weight. Ram says the new truck is nearly 225 pounds lighter than its predecessor despite adding stronger steel construction to its frame. Maximum payload and towing capacity also increase while the class exclusive air suspension receives fine tuning for improved ride comfort, off road capability, and load leveling. Inside, the RAM delivers new technology highlighted by, optional by, highlighted by an optional infotainment system with a massive 12 inch touchscreen display. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and multiple USB ports are also included. Sharpen new design, additional technology, and increased capability, vault this 2019 Ram 1500 back to its place as one of the top achievers in the class. Today's pickups are chameleons, capable of being everything from economy workhorses to luxury rides with tremendous cargo capability. The 2019 Ram 1500 offers broad options, and if I were getting one for work and play, double duty, I'd go with the Bighorn with a handful of options, with one exception. If my play regularly included dirt roads, the Rebel would be the only sensible choice. But since I like to keep it on the road, more often than not, we're going to build and price the 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Let's get started. All right, let's just jump right into the gallery. Uh, let's see the new design, the 2019 Ram 1500, all new, all new design. Kind of looks good. Um, the lines look different. Probably going to need to grow on me. It's not It's not bad, but it's probably going to need to grow on me a little bit. Uh, here's a, uh, a Rebel model being shown. We're really just kind of looking through the photos because we're going to go through the, the capabilities. We're going to learn about the features of the 2019 Ram 1500. So the little snippets of information they're showing us down here is just going to be redundant because they're going to tell us when we get over to the features section. That said, however, we will stop and talk about this one. Look at this one. Now, this one's a 1500 Bighorn Lone Star with available sport appearance package and which features a body color grill surround, door handles, mirror caps, front and rear bumpers with a sophisticated monotone black interior trim. That looks super sharp. I'm going to make a mental note of that. Here we've got one pulling a trailer, a Laramie. Another one pulling a big utility trailer with a, with a tractor in the back there. That looked like a work truck, didn't it? Yeah, that looked like a work truck with the black grill there, or a tradesman. Yeah, looks good here. There's a limited right there. There's many configurations. They all look nice. There's quite a few. There's quite a few. They all look good. Let's get on to some interior photos now. Wow, nice shot there. Let's just finish out these exterior photos really fast. All right, we got to be getting there. There's a big trailer they're pulling. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like they got that set up as a fifth wheel, too. Nah, that's that's at the that's at the bumper. Okay, and there's a rebel being shown off road, right? That's the off road one. Now we're on to the interior, right? And like I said, you know they're giving us a little bit of information down here, but you see where it says explore interior. interior? We're going to take a look at the features, so they're going to cover all that. So we don't really need to be too concerned with what they're saying right now. Here's that uh, panoramic sunroof that's probably an option. Here's a nice shot of the interior. Right, not sure what trim level is, but it's probably high up. Here's some wood on the steering wheel, so it's not a low level one. It's not a tradesman, I can tell you that. Here's a little storage cubby. They say it offers 151.1 liters of storage space down there. I saw. Ooh, nice digital speedometer, nice big gauges, really nice, beautiful. Wow, that looks wonderful. That's the inside of a Rebel. That looks great. I think the new truck. They, I think they nailed it. I think they nailed it. Nice. Everything looks good. Whoops, 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 whoops. Stop. Videos don't play well in videos. All right, let's move on. We've seen everything we're going to see in the gallery. Let's move on to capability. It says here the 2019 
Ram 1500 is best in class available V8 4x4 combined fuel economy. Uh, so we're going to find out about the performance. Let's find out about it. They say this new Ram was built to set the benchmark for strength, durability, and capability. All right. So it's got the best in class V8 towing, 12,750 pounds, or its max payload is 2,300 pounds. Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then they're also saying that there's an available class exclusive active level four corner air suspension with automatic load leveling so that you can tow and haul with more confidence. Look at how that uh, trailer matches that truck. Did you catch that? So, yeah, the way they get this best in class towing is with the available 5.7 liter Hemi V8 and this e torque. Hybrid technology. I was reading a little bit about it. I was going to talk a little bit about it at the beginning of the intro in the beginning, but I see they've got a little bit down here, a little bit further down the page, so we're just going to leave it for that. So that's going to help give this vehicle a little bit of boost, and we're going to learn how, or you're going to learn how in just a second. So, yeah, big towing payload and all that from a 5.7 liter Hemi and an e torque hybrid technology system, but it's not like in the same sense that you normally think of it as says here that the 2019 Ram 1500 is loaded with available sensors, cameras, sophisticated software, and all of that's going to help keep you in control, and that's all about the uh, towing technology. So let's click this little tab, find out about the towing technology. Looks like there's four main points here. There is a, over here on the far left, there's a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic path and new automatic trailer detection. So you get it. Blind spot monitor, not just paying attention to your truck. It's also paying, paying attention to the blind spot all the way back in your trailer. Then they've got the lane, uh, lane sense, lane departure warning with lane keep assist. So that system basically is going to help you if you're unintentionally drifting out of your lane by providing a visual alert and guiding your vehicle back in position within its lane boundary. So it sounds like it might be an active system that it can do that. There's a four collision warning with active braking. And then there's a class exclusive, uh, we just learned about this a little bit, that four-corner air suspension. Okay, so that was towing technology. Now they want to tell us about towing security. Let's find out about towing security. All right, so there is trailer sway control, which recognizes a trailer that begins to sway when you're towing and automatically applies individual brakes to, and, and or reduces engine power to help eliminate that sway. Uh, the crew cab is four inches longer. With a longer cab, you now have more room to secure, store things, da 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 And then there's a Rambox cargo management system. It's an available class-exclusive uh, system should you want it. I'm not really a fan of that, but depending on what you're doing with your truck, that might be just what you need. All right, so we just got done talking about security, uh, towing security. Now let's find out about the safety and security. Let's explore towing safety. Okay, so there's adaptive cruise control. There is an electronic stability control system. There's electronic roll mitigation. And then there's hill start assist, right? So if your truck is stopped in gear on a steep grade, the system will automatically maintain brake pressure for a moment as you switch from braking to accelerating. Very cool. Uh, adaptive cruise control. Uh, yeah, what's, what's about that? Let's find out real quick. I'm not a big fan of cruise control, but this adaptive cruise controls, you can usually set the control and it can set the distance and it'll slow down if it needs to. Sounds like it'll do that, right? The system will automatically adjust to pre-selected distance using throttle control. Uh, it'll even, it's a stop and go system so it can bring the vehicle to a full stop. Electronic stability control has been around forever. That's pretty self-explanatory, sort of kind of like adaptive cruise control is getting to be these days. And then electronic roll mitigation it says design to help keep your truck centered and you in control, especially when towing. It calculates potential for wheel lift, wow, which happens in right and, and, and tight turns and automatically reduces engine power and applies the brakes. Well, that's cool. Here they're telling us that 98% of the steel used in the frame of the 2019 Ram 1500 is high strength steel, increasing stiffness and durability to help deliver a best in class V8 engine towing cap. Uh, Capacity of up to 12,750 pounds, we know, with that 5.7 liter Hemi combined with the e-torque, which I think we're going to learn about here in just a second. So, yeah, this whole e-torque thing, it's a mild hybrid engine assist technology, right? They call it e-torque. It appears on this new Ram. It's not a hybrid technology in the traditional sense of a gas electric car. E-torque stores electricity in a lithium battery and helps the automatic engine stop-start system work more smoothly. 
It also provides a bit of extra power in short bursts. All right, that's the deal with all of that. Here we've got our engine options, starting with the 5.7 liter in Hemi with the e-torque. Right, that's good for 395 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque, can tow 700. I'm sorry, 12,750 pounds. In the city, if it's riding on four by four, I'm sorry, four by two, you get 17 in the city. 23 on the highway. If you're riding 4x4, four four, you still get 17 in the city, and you get 22 on the highway. Well, right off the bat, we can see that the, the Hemi with the e-torque gets a slightly better gas mileage in the city, just slightly. And then uh, this Hemi without the e-torque tows a little bit less at 11,000, well, over 1,000 pounds less, actually, 11,610 pounds it can tow. And then, of course, you have the bread and butter 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. That's going to be your base engine. It makes 305 horsepower, 269 pound feet of torque. Probably runs real good, though. Workhorse engine, I bet. And it'll tow 77, it'll tow 7,730 pounds. Its fuel economy is 20 in the city, 25 on the highway if you're rolling around in 4x2. And it's 19 in the city and 24 on the highway if you're rolling around in 4x4. They have this little calculate your savings, how what that e-torque helps deliver your costs down no matter where you go. So you can type in your mileage per year, your average gas price per gallon, and you can select uh, the engines. And it'll calculate and, and spit out some uh, information for you. If I had some information, we'd put it in, but we don't, so we'll move in. I just want to let you know they have that there. Right below that, they're telling us about the Torque Flight 8-speed automatic transmission. Class exclusive standard Torque Flight 8-speed automatic transmission that has next-gen technology, including e-torque mild hybrid system to automatically handle and optimize shift changes <clears throat> and points for efficiency, performance, and drivability. Check this out. There's an active air dam on the 2019 Ram 1500. As the Ram approaches 30 miles an hour, a class-exclusive active air dam automatically extends downward 2.5 inches to help reduce drag and make towing more efficient. This, help, this feature is standard on all Ram 1500 models that are not equipped with the available air suspension. There are improved aerodynamics, apparently. The body of the all-new 2019 Ram 1500 is the model for efficiency through engineering. The elevated hood improves air deflection from the wiper area, while the new sculpted roof design uh, directs air to the rear spoiler, to the real spoiler. To the real spoiler? Do they mean the rear spoiler? At any rate, combined with active aerodynamic features, the truck gets a, uh, a little coefficient. They reduced it a little bit. I mean, I don't really know, 0 0.357. I don't even know how to really say it, the number correctly. But sounds like they're trying to say they've made some improvements there. And it's the best in class, right, or whatever. Or lowest frontal drag coefficient in the class because they've got that new nose. It's tucked down. They've got all the sculpting. They're really controlling the airflow over the truck. Then it's a big deal, and I think it's cool because it's already set up. you got an air suspension, but, you know, air suspensions, they need servicing. But at any rate, this has got a class-exclusive air suspension system. Uh, it's called the Active Level Four Corner Air Suspension. It automatically lowers the Ram 1500 to highway speeds for reduced drag and greater efficiency. That's going to improve your performance and your fuel economy. And then it's got an auto load leveling, easy trailer hookup, and a best-in-class V8 engine towing capacity. Right, we know it. When connected with the 5.7 with the e-torque, not just the base 5.7. All right, well, we got through the capabilities for our uh, 2019 uh, Ram 1500. Let's find out about these exterior features. All right, let's find out about the exterior features. All new truck, they've got a lot to say, I'm sure. Well, starting with the multi-function tailgate. Look how the guy has the tailgate open. The brand new available tailgate has been re-engineered with two doors that swing open 88 degrees, offering easier access to the bed while maintaining the robustness you need on the job and in the field. And they're just showing some different angles of that. And, and you can sit down with it, you know, if you're playing hockey, right? Throw your gear back there. There's a step. Very cool. Showing you all the deals. Showing you a few different ways. That's an interesting setup. I don't know about its attractiveness, but it's probably utili utility is really good. Here they're talking about that... Uh, the uh, bigger bed and upgraded Ram box cargo management system that, is, that this new all new 2019 Ram 1500 has. Uh, it's a class exclusive uh, system 
with two lockable, drainable storage bins with LED lighting, plus new features like a 115-volt power outlet and remote access via the key fob. It says here the all new Ram 1500 has a maximum cargo bed volume of 61 and a half cubic feet with dimensions perfectly sized to hold 4 by 8 sheet 4 by 8 sheets of plywood even while the cla- even with the class exclusive available Ram box cargo management system you can see how they slide kind of right underneath there very cool they're thinking aren't they they're really thinking okay what are we talking about here it says the all new Ram 1500 Incorporates features like available power side running boards and dampened tailgates. All right. Well, it says closed. Let's click open and see what it does. And there's your open. So now we can see how the tailgate folds down and the boxes flip up on the sides. And, of course, we know how car doors open. We do know how that works. So there's a tailgate assist. It says the available nitrogen and oil charge dampened tailgate ensures an even and consistent assist in even the coldest or warmest climate. So that bed, the thing's not just falling down on you, right? And it also has an available power release tailgate with key fob control. I like that. That's kind of real cool, actually. All right, they want to talk about the lighting. The truck, I guess, you know what? It might start to be growing on me already. We're only 15, 16 minutes into this thing and change, and it's growing on me. Right, bigger, bolder, aggressive looks. They're showing the truck with just the LED lights on right here. We can see it right on the outside. We could turn the lights fully on, right? And then, with, and that looks pretty nice. You got your fog lights down here at the bottom. And of course, we know what off would look like. So you got LED, you got on, and, and you can go back to LED, on, off. Right, got it. Oh, what we didn't see was the rear view that we can see. How about LED? How about on? Oh, they don't even light up back here. Well, it just tells us that the uh, new aluminum tailgate features an integrated spoiler, updated uh, Ram truck badge with bold geometric shapes, and strong uh, border and Ram lettering on the new front. Looks pretty good in the back. It looks pretty good in the back. I think they did mean, yeah, it looks good back there. Somehow I just thought the lights were going to light up on this thing, and it didn't. Here they're just talking about those aerodynamics again. We won't go over it. We know. It's the best in class in the front. The 2019 Dodge, uh, the 2019 Ram 1500 offers 16 all-new wheel designs featuring an impressive available 22-inch wheels. Right? Look at that. Look at all these wheels. We're not going to... Wow. Those look good. Yeah. That looks nice, too. Good-looking truck. It's a good-looking truck, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'll answer it for you. It's a good-looking truck. Those wheels all look nice. They all look nice. We'll take a little bit closer look at them when we get into the build and price review. Uh, and here are the standard wheels. Those were the available wheels. Here are the standard wheels. They're not as attractive. We definitely will be getting some available wheels. They're certainly nicer than, um, yeah, yeah. We'll be getting some available wheels, not some standard ones. Here they've got some packages. Look at this, the Lone Star package. You can only get it in Texas. If you don't live in Texas, forget about it. There's this Rebel 12 package. If you uh, are going to get the Ram 1500 Rebel anyway, there's that Sport Appearance package, which is really hot. We saw um, we saw the Bighorn option with this Sport Appearance package. I like it a lot. It's very nice. It says here the Sport Appearance package allows you to choose an available color and apply it all over your all-new 2019 Ram 1500, including the grill surround, front and rear bumpers, door handles, mirror caps, big horn, and Laramie models. The available sport performance hood is a winner that looks and works great. Yeah, it looks got a huge power bulge up there too, doesn't it? So you got that. Then there's the, the black appearance package, the all-black package. There's a max tow package, changes your rear end uh, and all of that. Ch yeah, it gives you a Dana 60 axle. Gives you, it changes your rear end ratio. There's a Mopar off-road package. There's a Mopar city package. So there's quite a few packages. And like I said, when we get over to the build and price, we'll take a little bit closer look at what packages we want to spec on our Bighorn. Because I would suspect that not every one of these packages is going to be available for our Bighorn. And seeing that, so I don't want to get into too, too much of all of them because it might not be applicable to our Bighorn. You get it? Okay, this is applicable to our Bighorn, though. 
let's check the exterior paint colors. Finally, I didn't know where it was. I didn't know if they were going to show them to us or not. Let's check the exterior paint colors. Is it going to matter if we choose uh, a different bed option? Is it? No, it's not. This first color is a billet silver metallic. Then we have a Delmonico red pearl. There's a diamond black crystal pearl. I wouldn't mind having a black truck, maybe. Ah, it'd be hard to keep clean. There's a rugged brown. This uh, configurator doesn't really show the paints very well. It's not very clear. There's a blue streak. Uh, metallic is the name of that paint. There's a maximum steel, that color. This color here is known as flame red. This one here is, well, bright white. And then we've got a patriot blue, followed by a granite crystal metallic. Let's learn a little bit about that multifunction tailgate. I don't know if we're going to option ours with it, because I would think, yeah, it's an available tailgate. You don't have to get this tailgate. But I at least want to check it out. Let's, let's, let's check it out. It's only going to take us a second to go through it. So like car seats, it's got a 60-40 split. So here they're showing the left door open. Then we can show fully open, tailgate down. So it still does a traditional deal and then fully close. So it still works like a traditional tailgate if you want it to. But then it can open and close too, right? It can open and close. So fully open, fully closed, fully open fully close or tailgate down, tailgate close, right? That's pretty cool. And it can hold up to 2,000 pounds. So you can put up to 2,000 pounds on that tailgate. There's a kick out bed step. With one quick kick, the available Ram 1500 bed step deploys from under the rear bumper to offer a firm foothold to make loading, unloading, and accessing your bed easier than ever. Yeah, sometimes you need to step up. Here they're just talking about that Ram box cargo management system again. Letting us know that it's got illuminated, uh, that it's illuminated. It's got drainable storage bins. There's 115 volt uh, and 400 watt outlets there. If you need them, I think that comes standard. I guess if you get this, if you get the package. All right, let's talk interior. Wow, look how loaded this thing is. Oh, that's the limited right there. It says it right on the uh, right on the glove box, basically. Uh, that's certainly a luxury one. But let's talk about the interior. For the 2019 Ram 1500, the most luxurious truck in its class. And from the look of this one, they might not be too far off. They're letting us know that this uh, all-new 2019 Ram 1500 has state-of-the-art tech, device, connecti device connectivity, and a fourth-generation Uconnect system. This is an available system. The Uconnect 12.0 with navigation features an advanced Largest in class, 12-inch touchscreen. Look how gigantic that thing is. Uh, a customizable home screen with split-screen capability, pinch and zoom technology, and physical controls for key features makes it easy to access when it matters. If you're in a hurry, you don't have time to be swiping and pinching. There will be also hard buttons to press, they're tell telling us. Full-screen navigation. Uh, there's Sirius XM with 360L, whichever, whatever that is, which keeps you connected to your entertainment. Uh, yeah. That's the Uconnect 4C. Then, of course, they're going to talk about the Apple CarPlay. With Apple CarPlay support, you can access your iPhone and many of its capabilities, right? You can check out your music, get directions with the Apple Maps, Siri to make calls, send and receive text messages. Yeah, that's what you can do with the Apple CarPlay. They have a few notable features underneath that. You got that digital cluster display, right? The available premium 7 inch driver information digital cluster display. Brings information to life with full color, high definition 3D graphics. Then there's active noise cancellation to make it quieter in the cabin, right? To reduce ambient sound, to provide a best in class interior quietness in real world conditions of 57.6 decibels, right? Then there's connectivity on the go. There's a ultra fast USB charging point ports and auxiliary port. So you can connect to your music, your devices, or whatever. Then over here on the far right, they're talking about the Sirius XM. With the 360L, says it makes it even easier to stay entertained, right? New content, personalized recommendations, complete voice control, smartphone integration. Yeah, that's the Sirius XM with 360L. Still didn't really tell us a lot, but I'm not really into the Sirius line of products and services, so I'm not really that worried about it. So you can get a nice stereo system, apparently, in your all-new 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn or whatever trim level you're going to go with. Uh, it says that you can get a 900-watt Harman Kardon premium audio system. has 19 speakers in it. 
And then it says, and is available with genuine, stain genuine stainless steel speaker grills on limited models. So I'm assuming that only the limited model gets stainless steel. Every other one gets whatever. Is it black or whatever color, material color it is for the interior? I love their little interactiveness. So the dual pane panoramic sunroof. We sold night and day. It's like night and day, isn't it? Night and day. A new available 10 square foot dual pane panoramic sunroof offers passenger passengers a spectacular <laughs> window to fresh air, open sky, and an exquisite view of the world passing by. But don't let the world pass you by, they say. Here they're telling us about the interior layouts of the 2019 Ram 1500, and they say each model comes with its own set of distinctive colors, premium materials, and interior details. So obviously we can see, and you know what, let's just run through all of them. Why not? Real fast. This is, well, hang on a second. Actually, we're just going to stick to our Bighorn interior. Here's our Bighorn interior. You get the black. This is a premium cloth. You get the black light mountain brown. There's also a black and diesel gray. There is also a black and light frost beige, followed by the all black premium cloth, right? And that's for our Ram 1500 Bighorn. Check it out. They've, they've really done, they did their homework on this truck. This truck's pretty cool. It says passengers enjoy class exclusive features like a rear seat fold down center console, available reclining rear seats with eight degrees of slide uh, recline and rear seat ventilation, as well as 45.1 inches of rear leg room. So it looks like a lot of leg room back there. Actually, it looks like an aisle back there. So here they're going to say class exclusive available reclining rear seat. What does that look like? That looks like that. Then there's this uh, class exclusive rear seat fold down center console. What's that look like? That looks like that. We got that, and we can recline it. So there's your recline. Boom, 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 boom. You got it, right? Okay. They also tell us right down here that the all-new Ram 1500 has the best-in-class interior storage volume of 151.1 liters. Why are they saying liters? Uh, including class-exclusive in-floor storage that's nearly twice as much interior storage space compared to the closest competition. This looks like the storage bin in the front seats, all right, right in the middle there. Stash your stuff and charge up to five phones in the new class-exclusive center console, redesigned with features such as a bin for hanging file folders, space for a 15-inch laptop, and class-exclusive Type-C USB high-speed charging ports. But wait, there's more. There's under-seat rear storage, right, that can store up to 40 liters, and then there's these RAM built bins that are in the middle here. They're five and a half inches longer than the previous model. These available in-floor storage bins can fit up to a four-inch drop hitch. Uh, integrated tie-downs help secure cargo, uh, extra cargo. And then there, over here on the far right, there's a rear flat load floor. The all-new 2019 Ram 1500 comes with a rear flat load floor to provide additional passenger comfort usability and extra cargo storage yeah because they got that whole aisle right there it might as well be a flat floor because look at that when you even flip this seat up you could just put a bunch of stuff in here without even having to go to the back of the truck yet here we can see a better shot of the interior colors of our big horn like that black light frost beige the black and diesel gray the black and light mountain brown i like the all black interior which is what we're probably going to go with the black and light frost beige then you've got the complete, uh, then you got the black and light mountain brown, which is kind of interesting. And you got the black and diesel gray there. All right, let's talk safety. It says that the all new Ram 1500 has 100 plus standard and available safety and security features. That sounds like a lot. Okay, well, some of the safety tech, some of it we've already seen, like this blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic. We know that it covers also the trailer, it's not just for the truck. There's some other ones, though. There's the Lane Departure Warning Plus. All right. This helps prevent unintentional lane drift. It right? gives you visual alerts and whatnot. There's Smart Cruising. Right. Uh, it can brake and slow in traffic. It's got four collision warning. You know, standard stuff that we're all getting really, really familiar with these days. Then over here on the far right, it says it's got guided parking. Available parallel and perpendicular parking assist. That's pretty cool. The guided system directs you. To engage the gear position, brake and accelerator, while it automatically controls the steering wheel. What's this? Eyes all around. A new available 360 surround view camera provides a complete picture of vehicle surroundings, right? Uh, so that's cool. Let's, uh, there's a new camera system engineered to help protect us. 
we kind of learned a little bit about this, but you know, we know that this is high strength steel. 98% of this truck is made of high of of high strength steel. What we didn't know at this point was that the 2019 Ram 1500 has the largest in class brakes with 14.9 inch brakes, right? It's equipped to bring you and your load to a stop in shorter distances. There's also advanced airbag te technology. There's six standard airbags, so you get a whole bunch of peace of mind in there. All right, well, you know what? We went through all the features we need to go through. Let's jump into the actual build and price. Let's check this out here. Now, we're looking at the Bighorn. There it is right there, the 2019 Bighorn. We want to get ours in 4x4. Four four. That's gonna. We don't really so much look at the prices because they always they vary between what you see on the Internet and what you're going to see at the dealer. But we can see that the MSRP for this truck is sorry, $42,440. Let's look at some of the standard features real quick. I don't want to check out too much stuff. I just want to check out a few things. Like, let's check out powertrain. All right? So for the powertrain, it looks like we have what engine? Well, it says the torque is only 269. So that must mean that we only have the Pentastar V6 must be our standard engine and transmission, huh? Yeah, it is. So we know that it gets the standard V6. We're going to have to do something about that. I'm real big on what, what kind of technology we have. So I want to see what's up with the audio. So we've got the 5-inch touchscreen. We've got six speakers. We have the Uconnect 3 with the 5-inch display. Yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to need to upgrade our Uconnect system if we want to get something a little bit nicer than that. We know that we already have cloth interior. And really, that's all I really want to check out. I want to just quick check some quick uh, specs really, really fast. We got that leather wrap steering wheel, 18-inch wheels, right? Fog lamps, all that. Let's go to the build. Oh, and we can tow 11,340. Uh, oh, it says max horsepower, 395. So that means that we can option that Hemi. But it's just, that's not the standard engine at this price point. All right, so here we are looking at our Ram Bighorn Lone, Lone Star Crew Cab. Uh, we, oh, we could do, that's right, we can get the 5.7 V8 Hemi with the e-torque. That's a $2,600 and change option. I like that. We already read about it, so let's do that. All right? It changes what kind of transmission you get because the transmission also has the e-torque deal. All right? There we go. We're going to accept those changes. Now we've got the beefier uh, Hemi engine and we, with the correctly selected transmission. And then what's this deal with the axles? Anti-spin differential rear axle? I don't even know what that is. Are they going to tell us? The rear differential can be locked with an electronic actuator, so both rear wheels receive equal torque all the time for enhanced traction. I guess there's times when you might want that. So we're going to get that. And then this e-locker rear axle. Now, are those two the same deal uh, for better performance and slippery conditions? Now, there's a little uh, triangle here. Can we not add that? Now, to do that, ah, we've got to add some other things. We've got to change this uh, rear axle ratio. And then they want us to add this package called the North Edition. And I don't think I want to add the North Edition. I don't think I want to do that. If I if we do that, we'll do that at some other time when we get to the when we get to that section. I don't want to look at that right now. So we're not going to worry about that e-locker. We've got this anti-spin differential. We'll just stick with that for now. Like I usually say with the gear ratios, I don't usually know enough about them to uh, to uh, a numerically lower number. Well, here I guess I'm going to find out. Results in lower engine RPM and better efficiency. A numerically higher ratio improves acceleration, climbing grades, carrying loads, or pulling a trailer. So if I want to pull a trailer, then we're going to want to have a 392 rear end. But that rear end is probably bundled with a package, and it's only bundled. Oh, no. Okay, we can get that at least a la carte. That's awesome. There we go. So we have the 392 rear end. I do like that four-corner air suspension. Hopefully we can get that a la carte. Now what do we have to add to that? Please, please choose one of the following requirements. Now we can get the level two equipment group. Now what's all included in that? Uh, the 8.4-inch touchscreen display, the Apple CarPlay, uh, the TFT color display, all the stuff that I probably really want anyway. Yeah. Okay. You got a lot of power seat adjustability, power heated mirrors, remote start, start system, a lot of tech. A lot of tech. I don't know what the price is. We're going to say the level 2, and we're going to accept those changes. All right. And then to be added... 
right? The four corner air suspension and the rear wheelhouse liners, apparently. We're going to accept those changes. Got it. Sitting at just under $50,000. So we got a fuel tank options here. Looks like the standard fuel tank is 23 gallon, but you can replace it at a no cost option. You can put the 26 gallon fuel tank in there as a no cost option. But I like the whole 33 gallon fuel tank thing for an additional 445. So we're going to go ahead to be added. Yeah, did we already select? Oh, to be removed. Ah, okay. We can't do a 33 gallon fuel tank and do a level two equipment group. So how about just give us a 26-gallon fuel tank then? <laughs> I guess we'll take that. Uh, additional mechanical features, deployable bed step. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. I like that. And, yeah, let's move on to packages now. Okay, there is a trailer tow group. Now, that's a $400 option, and that's going to give us the exterior mirrors with supplemental signals, trailer brake control, trailer tow mirrors, the Class uh, 4 receiver hitch. And all of that for $400. I want to go ahead and get that set up. I also want to do the off-road group. And that's going to give us, what, the 4x4? That's going to give us the e-locker rear axle, uh, the fuel tank skid plate, hill descent control, tow hooks, transfer case, skid plate, off-road decals, all of that. That's $795. And then what do we need to do? We're going to go ahead and remove that, uh, I think it was the anti-spin rear axle or something like that. And then those all-season tires, that's fine. So now we got the 4x4. We know we already have the level 2 equipment group. Do we want the premium LED lighting for $9.95? We're really nickel and diamond ourselves, yet we're still under $50,000, though. Uh, front LED fog lights and LED automatic reflector headlamps. Yeah, I want that. $9.95. Now we're over at $50,000. Now what's this protection group? Now that's going to probably conflict with the off-road group. Yeah, because some of that stuff. Yeah, you can do a cheaper version. You can do a cheaper version than the... Uh, than that, uh, than the off-road group for seven ninety-five. If you wanted some protection, you could do a protection group for three ninety-five. Save yourself four hundred bucks. Now that sport appearance package, I fell in love with that in the beginning, and so I want the uh, I want the sport appearance package. I like that. Now, what do we need to remove? Uh, to be added is the black interior. To be removed is all the black diesel gray interior and the cloth bench seat. Got it. That works for me. The North Edition, we're not going to get that. Uh, the Lone Star package, we're not in Texas. The Black Appearance package, it, getting any other of the packages are going to conflict with probably the sport package. And so we're going to stick with the sport package. I think the bed utility group thing is interesting, right? I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, and a truck bed divider, spray and bed liner, LED bed lining, uh, cargo tie down hooks, that's $845. i am in on that. I'm certainly in on that. Let's go take a look at the exterior now. All right, let's talk exterior colors. I wasn't crazy about any of these colors, to be honest with you. Um, what about the, not the rugged brown? I can tell you that much. The granite crystal, the maximum steel. Black sounds fun, but the reality of keeping that clean doesn't sound fun. Uh, how about the blue streak pearl? Now, what does that look like? Is that a shade of white? No, of course it wasn't. It was called blue streak. It was a streak of blue. <laughs> now, here it is. I'm just going to do the bright white clear coat. <clears throat> I like light colored cars and seeing that none of these colors really do anything for me and it's not the focus of this whole building price. We're just going to pick the white color. Uh, we are going to do some uprated wheels. I want They don't have any 22s though. We can't get any 22s. We're rolling on 18s right now, but I like these 20 by 9s with the aluminum chrome clad wheels. Those look nice for $1,600 basically. And please choose one of the following setups for wheels. Um, oh, geez, let's see. I don't really know. I don't really know. Let's just say, let's just go here. Standard set of wheels, or I'm sorry, standard set of tires. Oh, we got to take off the off-road group? Uh, I don't really want to take off the off-road group. I don't really want to take off the off-road group. But at the end of the day, well, you know, you know what? We're going to leave it. We're gonna leave it. I want to. I don't. I want to keep the off-road group, right? But let's see. Can we get these premium painted wheels though, at least, or no? Yeah, we can at least get the nicer wheels, the little bit nicer one. Okay, so we can retain that off-road group. I like that. Uh, what else is there? There's side steps, wheel-to-wheel -wheel side step. I don't think we need that. The black tubular side steps. What does that look like? I kind of like that. Let's do that for seven hundred dollars. 
Oh, wow. I tell you what, you can't do one thing without removing 17 things. You know what? How about this? Let's not do that. I'll just get that aftermarket. How about that? I'll get that aftermarket, and it's going to fit anyway. Uh, I'll skip over the box management system. Uh, can we get this, this flat cover? Can we get the tonneau cover without it changing something? Is that possible? Let's see. That should be possible, I think. Okay, that was possible. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go on to interior, and then I think that is the last section. Well, we did the sport appearance package, so we already picked out our cloth. Remember that? We've got the black interior because we got the sport appearance package. Uh, we have the Uconnect 4 with the 8.4-inch screen, but let's bump that up to include the navigation. Can we get that without removing something or adding something? The answer to that is yes. Then there's the, uh, do we want to get the nine amplified speakers with subwoofer? That's an upgrade. Do we want the panoramic sunroof? Eh, you know what? We're already at 54000 We don't even have leather interior. So I'm not really thinking that I want to do the panoramic sunroof. The rear seat storage compartments are kind of interesting. The floor mats. I'm just kind of seeing what else is left here. All right. So there's the blind spot cross detection. So I think we should get the blind spot cross detection. Uh, the floor mats you can get at the dealer at any time, but I'm going to go ahead and add those two, I think. I like the rear seat and their, uh, rear seat uh, compartment storage, and I also think we should probably get the upgraded stereo speaker. So let me go ahead and upgrade all those things. Okay, we were able to select all of those without having to add or remove anything. We made it out of that section. We made it out of the interior section kind of unscathed a little bit. Okay, real quick. I downloaded the build summary, so if you like the way that I built and priced this 2019 uh, Ram 1500 Bighorn Lone Star Crew Cab, well, then you can download that in the description below. Other than that, this thing came to a total price of $56,135, right? We can see all the stuff that we put on this truck. We put a lot of stuff on this truck. They'll probably give us a whopping, yeah, we added almost $15,000 in options to get the truck that we wanted, Right? This truck basically started off at basically $40,000-ish, you know, ish, and now we're sitting at $56,000 to get this truck that we wanted, and we still don't have leather interior. But, you know, I think it's a nice blend. I think it's a nice blend because now, you know, that's a still a lot of money for a truck. And to go up in levels, now you're going to be seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 getting up there to get all that truck you think you might want. So, cool. I like this truck. I like trucks in general. I'm going to put a link up to my truck playlist. I'll, as a matter of fact, I've already done that because it's so late. I've already put it up. I should have said that eons ago, but I'm saying it now. So go take a look at that. You can see the other trucks that I've looked at. I love trucks. Uh, if you made it to the end, you're awesome. Thank you for watching from front to back. I really appreciate it. It's good for the channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day.